Deuteronomy chapter 1. These be the words which Moses spoke unto all Israel on this side Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea between Paran and Tophel, and Laban and Hazron and Dezebab. There are eleven days' journey from Horah by the way of Mount Seir unto Kadesh Barnea. And it came to pass in the fourth year, in the eleventh month, on the first day of the month, that Moses spoke unto the children of Israel, according unto all the Lord, had given him in commandment unto them. After he had slain Pihon, the king of the Amorites, which dwelt in Heshbon and Og, the king of Bashan, which dwelt at Ashrath in Edom, on the, this side Jordan, in the land of Moab, began Moses to declare this law, saying, The Lord our God spoke unto us in Horeb, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough in this mount. Turn you and take your journey and go to the mount of the Amorites and unto all the places night there unto in the plain, in the hills, and in the vale, and in the south, and by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanites, and unto Lebanon, unto the great river, the river. Ephrites, behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. And I spoke unto you at the same time, at that time, saying, I am not bare to bear you myself alone. The Lord your God had multiplied you, and behold, ye are this day as the stars of heaven for multitude. The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as ye are, and bless you as he had promised you. How can I myself alone bear your cumbrance and your burden and your strife? Take you wise men and understanding and known among your tribes, and I will make them rulers over you. And ye answered me, and said, The thing which thou hast spoken is good for us to do. So I took the chief of your tribes, wise men and known, and made them heads over you, captains over thousands, and captains over hundreds, and captains over fifties and captains over tens, and officers among your tribes. And I charged your judges at the time, saying, Hear the causes between your brethren, and judge. Righteously between every man and his brother, and the stranger that is within him, ye shall not respect persons in judgment, but ye shall hear the small as well as the great. Yea, shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is God's. And the cause that is too hard for you, bring it unto me, and I will hear it. And I commanded you at that time all the things which ye should do. And when we departed from Horeb, we went through all the great and terrible wilderness which ye saw by the way of the mountain of the Amorites, as the Lord our God commanded us. And we came to Kadesh Barnea, and I said unto you, Ye are come unto the mountain of the Amorites, which the Lord our God doth give unto us. Behold, the Lord thy God, and set the land before thee. Go up and possess it. As the Lord God of thy fathers had said unto thee, Fear not, neither be discouraged. And ye come near unto me, 
every one of you and said, We will send men before us, and they shall search us out of the land, and into what cities we shall come. And the saying pleased me well. And I took twelve men of you, one of a tribe, and they turned and went up into the mountain, and came onto the valley of Ishkol, and searched it out. And they took of the fruit of the land in their hand, and brought it down unto us, and brought us word again, and said, It is a good land which the Lord our God doth given us. Notwithstanding ye would not go up, but rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God. And ye murmured in your tents, and said, Because the Lord hated us, he had brought us forth out of the land of Egypt to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites, to destroy us. Whither shall we go up? Our brethren have discouraged our heart, saying, The people is greater and taller than we. The cities are great and walled up to heaven, and moreover we have seen the sons of the Archims there. Then I said unto you, Dread not, neither be afraid of them. The Lord your God, which goeth before you, he shall fight for you according to all that he did for you in Egypt, before your eyes and in the wilderness, where thou has seen how that the Lord thy God bare thee as a man doth bear his son, in all the way that ye went, until ye came into this place, yet in this thing he ye did. Not believe the Lord your God, who went in the way before you. You search to search you out a place to pitch your tents in fire by night, to show you by what way ye should go, and in a cloud day, a cloud by day. And the Lord heard the voice of your words, and was wroth, and swear, saying, Surely there shall not one of these men of this evil generation see that good land which I swear to give unto your father, save Caleb the son of Shephnuah. He shall see it, and to him I will I give the land that he had trodden upon, and to his children, because he had wholly followed the Lord. Also the Lord was angry with me for your sake, saying, Thou also shalt not go in thither, but Joshua the son of Nun, which standeth before thee, he shall go in thither. Encourage him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit it. Moreover, your little ones, which ye said should be a prey, and your children, which in that day had no knowledge between good and evil, they shall go in hither, thither, and unto them will I give it, and they shall possess it. But as for you, turn you and take your journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. Then we, ye answered and said unto me, We have sinned against the Lord. We will go up and fight according to that, that the Lord our God commanded. Yet us. And when ye had girded on every man his weapons of war, ye were ready to go up into the hill. And the Lord said unto me, Say unto them, Go not up, neither fight, for I am not among you, lest ye be smitten before your enemies. So I spoke unto you, and ye would not hear, but rebelled against the commandment of the Lord, and went presumptuously up unto the hill. And Amorites, which dwelt in the mountain, came out against you, 
and chased you as bees do, and destroyed you in Seir, even unto Hor Hormah. And ye returned and we wept before the Lord. But the Lord would not hearken to your voice, nor give ear unto you. So ye abode in Kadesh many days according unto the days that ye abode there. Deuteronomy chapter 2 Then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. As the Lord spoke unto me, and we compassed Mount Seir many days, and the Lord spoke unto me, saying, Ye have compassed this mountain long enough. Turn you northward and command the the people saying, Ye are to pass through the coast of your brethren, the children of Esau, which dwell in Seir, and they shall be afraid of you. Take ye good heed and unto yourselves. Therefore, meddle not with them, for I will not give you of their land. No, not so much as a foot brethren, because I have given Mount Sir unto Esau for a possession. Ye shall buy meat of them for money, that ye may eat, and ye shall also buy water of them for money that ye may drink. For the Lord thy God had blessed thee in all the works of thy hand. He knoweth thy walking through his great wilderness. These forty years the Lord thy God had been with thee, thou hast lacked nothing. And when we passed by from our brethren, the children of Esau which dwelt in Seir, through the way of the plain from Elah, from Ezon Gaber, we turned and passed by the way of the wilderness of Moab. And the Lord said unto me, Distress will not distress not the Moabites, neither contend with them in battle, for I will not give thee of their land for possession because I have given heir unto the children of Lot for a possession. The Ammonites dwelt therein in, past, in, time, in times past, a people great and many and tall as the Anakims, which also were accounted giants as the Anakims, but the Moabites called them Imam, Imam. The Horams also dwelt in Seir before time, but the children of Esau succeeded them when they had destroyed them from before them, and dwelt in their stead as Israel did unto the land of his possession, which the Lord gave unto them. Now rise up, said I, and get you over the brook. Sirat. And we went over the brook Sirat, and the space in which we came from Kadesh, Barnya, until we were come over the brook, Sirza was, was thirty and eighty years, until all generation of the men of war were wasted out of from among the hosts, as the Lord swore unto them. For indeed the hand of the Lord was against them, to destroy them from among the hosts, until they were consumed. So it came to pass, when all the men of war were consumed and dead from among the people, that the Lord spoke unto me, saying, Thou art to pass over through Ar, the coast of Moab, this day. And when you comest nigh over against the children of Ar Ammon, 
distress them not, nor meddle with them, for I will not give thee for the land of the children of Ammon any possession, because I have given it unto the children of Lot for a possession, that also was accounted a land of giants. Giants dwelt therein in old time, and the Ammonites called them Zamman, a people great and many and all tall as Anakins. But the Lord destroyed them before them, and they succeeded them, and dwelt in their stead as he did to the children of Esau, which dwelt in Seir. When he destroyed them Horams from before them, and they succeeded them and dwelt in their stead even unto this day, and the Evams which dwelt in Hazram, even unto Hazab the Kafirins, which came forth out of Kaftor, destroyed them and dwelt in their stead. Rise ye up, take your journey, and pass over the river Arna. Behold, I have given un into thine hand Shehan, Damarite, king of Hasbon, and his land. Begin to possess it and contend with him in battle. This day I will begin to put the dread of these and the fear of thee upon the nations that are under the whole heaven who shall hear report of thee and shall tremble and be in anguish because of thee. And I send messengers out of the wilderness of Kedem unto Shishman, king of the the words of peace saying, Let me let me pass through thy, thy land. I will go along by the highway. I will neither turn unto the right hand nor to the left. Thou shalt sell me meat for money that I may eat, and I give and I and give me water for money that I may drink. Only I will pass through on my feet. As the children of Esau, which dwell in Seir, and the Moabites, which dwell in Ar, Ar did unto me, un until I shall pass over Jordan into the land which the Lord our God gave us. But Shehon king of Hasbon would not let us pass by him. For the Lord thy God hardened his spirit and made his heart abstinent, that he might deliver him into thy hand as a parent this day. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have begun to give Shehan in his land before thee, begin to possess that thou mayest inherit this land. Then Shehan came out against us, he and all his people, to fight at Jahan. And the Lord our God delivered him before us, and we smote him, and his sons, and all his people. And we took all his cities at this that time and utterly destroyed the men and the women and the little ones of every city we left none to remain only the cattle we took for a prey unto them ourselves and the spoil of the cities which we took from Arhar which is by the brink of the river of Arna and from the city that is by the river, even unto Gila, there was not one city too strong for us. The Lord our God delivered all in, unto us, only unto the land of children of Ammon. Thou camest not 
nor unto any place of the river, Jab, Jabbok, nor unto the cities in the mountains, nor unto the whatsoever the Lord our God forbade, forbade us. Chapter 3 Then we turned and went up the way of Bashan, and Og, the king of Bashan, came out against us, he and all his people to battle at Idra. And the Lord said unto me, Fear him not, for I will deliver him and all his people and his land unto thy hand, and thou shalt do unto him as thou didst unto Shihon king of the Amorites, which dwelt at Heshbon. So the Lord our God delivered into our hands also the king of Bashan and all his people, and we smote him all until none was left to him remaining. And we took all his cities at that time. There was not a city which we took, not from the threescore cities, all the region of Argob, the kingdom of Og and Bashan. All these cities were fenced with high walls, gates, and bars, besides unwalled towns, a great many. And we utterly destroyed them, as we did in Shahim king of Hajbon, utterly destroying the men and women and children of every city. But all the cattle and the spoil of the cities we took for a prey to ourselves. And we took at that time out of the hand of the two kings of the Amorites, the land that was on this side of Jordan from the river of Arnon onto Mount Hermon, which Hermon, the Sananites call Siron, and the Amorites call it Sharnon. All the cities of the plain and all the Gilad and all the Bashan onto Shal, Shal and Idra, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan, for only Og, king of Bashan, remained of the remnant of giants. Behold, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron. It is not in Rabat of the children of Ammon. Nine cubits was the length thereof, and four cubits the breadth of it, after the cubit of a man. And this land which he repossessed at that time from Ar, which is by the river Arnon, and half Mount Elad. And the cities thereof gave I unto the Reubenites and to the Gainites. And the rest of Gilad and all Bashan, being the kingdom of Og, gave I unto the half tribe of Mansha, all the region of Ar. The Argob, with all Bashan, which was called the land of giants. Jarrah the son of Manashan took all the country of Argob unto the coasts of Gesha and Mashurat, and called them after his own name, Bashan Habat Jar, unto this day. And I gave Jil. Gilad unto Mashu, and unto the Rubenites, and unto the Gadonites. I gave from Gilad even unto the river Arnon, half the valley, and the border even unto the river Jabba, which is the border of the children of Ammon. The plain also, and the Jordan, and the coast thereof from even unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea under Ashdod, Pishka, eastward. And I commanded you at the ta that time, saying, The Lord your God had given you this land to possess it, 
ye shall pass over arm before your brethren, the children of Israel, all that are meet for the war, but your wives and your little ones and your cattle. For I know that ye have much cattle, shall abide in your cities, which I have given you until the Lord have given rest unto your brethren, as well as unto you, and until they also possess the land which the Lord your God had given them beyond Jordan, and then shall you return every man unto his possession, which I have given you. And I commanded Joshua at that time, saying, Thy eyes have seen all that the Lord your God had done unto these two kings. So shall the Lord do unto all the kingdoms, whither thou passest, ye shall not fear them. For the Lord your God, he shall fight for you. And I besought the Lord at that time, saying, O Lord God, thou hast begun to shew thy servant, thy greatness and thy mighty hand. For what God is there in heaven or in earth that can do according to thy works and according to thy might? I pray thee, let me go over and see the good land that is beyond Jordan, that goodly mountain in Lebanon. But the Lord was wroth with me for your sakes, and would not hear me. And the Lord said unto me, Let it suffice thee. Speak no more unto me of this matter. Get thee up on into the top of Pishgah, and lift up thy eyes westward, and northward, and southward, and eastward, and behold it with thine eyes. For thou shalt not go over this Jordan, but charge Joshua, and encourage him, and strengthen him. For he shall go over before his this people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which thou shalt see. So we abode in the valley over against Beth Pierre. Chapter 4 Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments, which I teach you, for to do them, that ye may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. Your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Baal, here for all the men that followed Baal, here the Lord thy God, had destroyed them from among you. But ye that have cleaved unto the Lord your God are alive, every one of you, this day. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great, who had God so nigh unto them as the Lord? our God is in all things that we call upon him for. And what nation is there so great 
that had statues and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day. Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thy eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life, but teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons, especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy God in Horeb. When the Lord said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my word, that they may learn to fear me all the days, that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may teach their children. And ye came near and stood under the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire unto the midst of heaven with darkness, clouds, and thick darkness. And the Lord spoke unto you out of the midst of the fire. Ye heard the voice of the word, but saw no more some similitude. Only ye heard a voice, and he declared unto you this covenant, which he commanded you to perform. Even ten commandments he wrote, upon two tables of stone. And the Lord commanded me at that time to teach you statutes and judgments, that ye might do them in the land whither ye go over to possess it. Ye did therefore good heed unto them yourselves, for ye saw no matter manner of solitude. On the day that the Lord spoke unto you in Horeb, out of the midst of the fire, lest ye, ye corrupt yourselves and make you a graven image, the solitude of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, the likeness of any winged fowl that flyeth in the air, the likeness of anything that creepeth on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth. And lest thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven, and when thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven, shouldest be drive driven to worship them and to serve them, which the Lord thy God had divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. But the Lord had taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace, even out of Egypt, to be unto him a people of inheritance, as ye are this day. For furthermore, the Lord was angry with me for your sakes, sakes and swear that I should not go over Jordan, and that I should not go in unto the good land, which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance. But I must die in this land. I must not go over Jordan. But ye shall go over and possess that good land. Take heed unto the yourselves, that ye forget the covenant of the Lord your God, which he made with you and make you a graven image or the likeness of anything which the Lord thy God had forbidden thee. For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. When thou shalt beget children and children's children, and ye shall have remained long in the land, and shall corrupt yourselves and make a graven image or likeness of anything, and shall do evil in the sight of the Lord thy God to provoke him to anger, I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day, that ye shall soon utterly perish far from off the land whereunto ye go over Jordan to possess it. Ye shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. 
And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord the Lord shall lead you. And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear, nor eat nor smell, but if from thence. Those shall seek the Lord thy God. Those shall find him, if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul, when thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days. If thou turn to the Lord thy God, and shalt be obedient unto his voice. For the Lord thy God is a merciful God. He will not forsake thee, nor destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he swore unto them. For, uh, for ask now of the days that are past, which were before thee, since the day that God created man upon the earth, and ask from the one side of heaven unto the other whether there had been any such thing as this great thing is or had been her heard like it did ever did ever people hear the voice of god speaking out of the midst of the fire as thou has heard or live and live or had god essayed to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation by temptations by signs and by wonders and by war and by a mighty hand and by a stretched out arm, and by the great terrors, according to all that the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes, unto thee it was sued. That thou mightest know that the Lord, he is God. There is none else beside him. Out of heaven he made thee to hear his voice, that he might instruct thee. And upon earth, he pursued thee his great fire. And thou heardest his words out of the midst of the fire. And because he loved thy fathers, therefore the he chose their seed after them, and brought thee out in his sight with his mighty power out of Egypt to drive our nation out nations. From before thee greater and mightier than thou art to bring thee in, to give thee their land of for an inheritance, as it is this day. Know therefore this day, and consider it in the, thine heart, that the Lord is he, the, that the Lord he is God, in heaven above, upon the earth beneath, there is none else. Thou shalt keep therefore his statutes, and his commandments, which I command thee this day, that it may go well with thee and with thy children after thee, and that thou mayest prolong thy days upon the earth which the Lord thy God giveth thee forever. Then Moses severed three cities on this side, Jordan toward the sun rising, that the slayer might flee thither, which should kill his neighbor unawares, and hated him not in times past. And the fleeing unto one of these cities he might live, namely Bezar, in the wilderness, in the plain country of the Rabbanites, and Ramah, and Gilad, of the Gainites and Golan in Bashan of the Mennonites. This is the law, and this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. These are the testimonies and the statues and the judgments which Moses spoke unto the children of Israel after they come forth out of the Egypt on this side, Jordan in the valley over against Beth Pier, 
in the land of Shehan kings of Amorites, who dwelt at Heshbon, whom Moses and the children of Israel smote, after they were come forth out of Egypt. And they possessed his land, and the land of O king of Bashan, two kings of the Amorites, which were on this, this side, Jordan, toward the sun rising from Arar, which is by the bank of the river Arnon, even unto Mount Sion, which is Har Hermon, and all the plain on the side Jordan eastward, even unto the sea of the plain, under the springs of Pishka. Chapter 5 And Moses called all Israel and said unto them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and judgments which I speak in your ears this day, that ye may learn them and keep and do them. The Lord our God made a covenant with us in Horeb. The Lord made not this covenant with our fathers, but with us, even us who are who are all of us here alive this day. The Lord talked with you face to face in the mount out of the midst of the fire. I stood between the Lord and you at that time to show you the word of the Lord. For ye were afraid by reason of fire, of the fire, and went not up into the mount, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which bringeth, brought thee out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. Thou shalt have none other gods before me. Thou shalt not make any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the waters beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take thy name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless, that taketh his name in vain. Keep the Sabbath day to sanctify it, as the Lord thy God hath commanded thee. Six days thou shalt labor, and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant nor the maidservant, nor thy ox, nor thy ass, nor any of thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates, that my, thy manservant and thy maidservant may rest as well as thou, and remember that thou was a servant in the land of Egypt, and that the Lord thy God brought thee out of thence, through the a mighty hand and by a stretched out arm. Therefore the Lord thy God commanded thee to keep the Sabbath day. Honor thy father and thy mother as the Lord thy God had commanded thee, that thy days may be prolonged, and that it may go well with thee. In the land which the Lord thy God given thee, thou shalt not kill, and neither shalt thou commit adultery. Thou Neither shalt thou steal, neither, neither shalt thou bear false witness against thy neighbor, neither shalt thou desire thy neighbor's wife, neither shalt thou cover thy neighbor's house, his field, or his manservant, or his maidservant, his ox, or his ass, or anything that is thy neighbor's. These words the Lord spoke unto all your assembly in the mount of, of the midst of the fire of the cloud and of the thick darkness with a great voice and he added no more and he wrote them in two tablets of stone and delivered them unto me 
And it came to pass when he heard the voice out of the midst of the darkness, for the mountain did burn with fire, that he came near unto me, even all the heads of your tribes and your elders. And he said, Behold, the Lord our God hath through us his glory and his greatness. And we have heard his voice out of the midst of the fire. We have been seen this day that God, God talked with man, and he liveth. Now therefore, why should we die? For this great fire will consume us. If we hear the voice of the Lord our God any more, then we shall die. For the, who is there all of all flesh that had heard the voice of the living God speaking out of the midst of the fire, as we have and lived, go, go near, and hear all that the Lord our God shall say, and speak, so unto us all that the Lord our God shall speak unto thee, and we will hear it and do it. And the Lord heard the voice of your words when ye spoke unto me. And the Lord said unto me, I have heard the voice of the words of his people, which, have, which they have spoken unto thee. They have well said all that they have spoken. Oh, that there were such an heart in them, that they would fear me, and keep all my commandments always, that it might be well with them and with their children forever. Go say to them, Get you into your tents again. But as for thee, stand thou here by me, and I will speak unto thee all the commandments, and all the statutes, and the judgments, which thou shalt teach them, that they may do them in the land which I give them to possess it. Ye shall observe to do therefore as the Lord your God had commanded you. Ye shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. Ye shall walk in all the ways which the Lord your God had commanded you, that ye may live and it may be well with you, and that ye may prolong your days in the land which ye possess. Chapter 6 <clears throat> Now these are the commandments, the statutes and the judgments <clears throat> which the Lord your God commanded to teach you, that ye might do them in the land whither ye go to possess it, that thou mightest fear the Lord thy God, to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee, thou and thy son, <clears throat> and thy son's son, all the days of thy life, and that the days may be prolonged. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may increase mightily at, as the Lord God of thy fathers had promised thee, in the land that floweth with milk and honey, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love thy Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. <coughs> and these words which I command, command thee this day shall be in thy heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shall talk of them. When thou sittest in thy house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be as front left between thy eyes. 
and thou shalt write up them upon the posts of thy house and on thy gates. And it shall be when the Lord thy God shall have brought thee into the land which he swore unto the thy father, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities, which thou buildest not, and the house is full of all good things which thou fillest not, and wells dig it which thou diggest not, vineyards and olive trees which thou plantest not. When thou shalt have eaten and be full, then beware lest thou forget the Lord, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve him, and shall swear by his name, Ye shall not go after other gods, or of the gods of the people which are round about you. For the Lord thy God is a jealous God among you. Lest the anger of the Lord thy God be kindled against thee, and destroy thee from off the face of the earth. Yes, shall not tempt the Lord your God as ye tempted him in Mas Massa. Ye shall diligently keep the commandments of the Lord your God and his testimonies and his statutes which he had commanded thee. And thou shalt do that which is right and good in the sight of the Lord, that it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest go in and possess the good land which the Lord is swear unto thy father cast out all thy enemies from before thee as the Lord had spoken. And when thy son asked thee in time to come, saying, What mean the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments which the Lord our God has commanded you? Then thou shalt say unto the son, We were Pharaoh's bondmen in Egypt, and the Lord brought us out of Give us the land which we swear unto our father. And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes, to fear the Lord our God, to our good always, and he might preserve us alive, as it is at this day that it shall be our righteousness. If we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God, as he had commanded us, Chapter 7 <clears throat> When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and had cast out many nations before thee, the Hinites and the Garagesites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and <clears throat> the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jubazites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor sue mercy unto them, neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from me following me, that they have served other gods, so will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you, and destroy thee suddenly, but th thus shall he deal with them. Ye shall destroy their altars, and break down their images, and cut down their groves, and burn the graven images with fire. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord, 
thy God, the Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto their fathers, had the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen, from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, and faithful, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations, and repay them that hate him for to their face to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hated him. He will repay him to his face. Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and the statutes and the judgments, which I command thee this day to do them. Therefore it shall come to pass, if ye hearken to these judgments and keep and do them, that the Lord thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he sware unto their fathers. And he will love thee and bless thee and multiply thee. He will also bless the fruit of thy womb, and the fruit of thy land, thy corn, and thy wine, and thine oil, the increase of thy kind, the flocks of thy sheep, and the land which we swear unto the fathers to give thee. Though <coughs> thou shalt be blessed above all people, there shall not be male or female barren among you, or among your cattle. And the Lord will take away from thee all the sickness and will put none of these e the evil diseases of Egypt, which thou knowest upon thee, but will lay them upon all them that hate thee. And thou shalt consume all the people which the Lord thy God shall deliver thee. Thy eye shall have no pity upon them. Neither shalt thou serve their gods, for that will be a snare unto thee. If thou shalt say in thine heart, These nations are more than I, how can I dispose disposes them? Thou shalt not be afraid of them, but shall remember what the Lord thy God did unto Pharaoh and unto all Egypt. The great temptations which thy eyes saw and the eyes and the wonders and the mighty hand and the stretched out arm whereby the Lord thy God brought thee out. So shall the Lord thy God do unto all the people of whom thou art afraid. Moreover, the Lord thy God will send the hornet among them until they, had, until they that are left and hide themselves from thee be destroyed. Thou shalt not be affrighted uh, at them, for the Lord thy God is among you, a mighty God and a terrible and terrible, and the Lord thy God will put out those nations before thee by little and little and little. Thou mayest not consume them at once, lest the beasts of the field increase upon thee, but the Lord thy God shall deliver them unto thee, and shall destroy them with a mighty destruction until they be destroyed. And he shall deliver their kings unto thy hand, and thou shall destroy their name from under heaven. There shall no man be able to stand before thee until thou have destroyed them. The graven images of their God shall ye burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is in on them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein, for it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thy house, 
lest there be a cursed thing like it. But thou shalt utterly detest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. <laughs>